Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the sixth board 2007 tutorial. And today's topic is going to be uh, table of contents and how to work with table of contents. So what I did here, I just um, copied and pasted the information out of uh, Wikipedia for um, the Nile River and you, you see it's got multiple sections and I cleaned it up a little bit but there's there's these different titles and so forth here. So if we want to insert a table of contents, which will come in really handy on a long doc, long document like this. So what, what I would do is I would go here and put the cursor right here at the beginning of it. And then I would go to references section and go to table of contents. And then there's a couple of options here. You can do the default one here and you notice it's, it has labeled contents. And then you could do table of contents here or you could do a manual table. Um, or you could just say insert table. So if you insert table, you'll get a list of options over here and you can change things as you need to. Um, but this will be a pretty um, standard default one. So if I click modify as an example, you can change things like if you wanted your font to be bigger here or something like that um, for the different uh, sections of the document. But I'm going to leave everything as is. Same thing for options. You can go in here. You'll notice there's sections different um, options here that you can put like if you want you know you have balloon text or collapse button and things like that you can you can go ahead and put the table of contents level there and the level would be you know for example heading one heading two heading three as an example okay so I'm going to just leave everything default and I'm going to go ahead and say okay so you see what happened here is it went and it created uh, automatically created a table of contents and it also by default aligned the page numbers to the right which is real clean looking so the nice thing about working with the table of contents is now I can go through here and if I want to I can work on the document so now for example the white Nile is on page 2 it looks like so if I go here to that and now I have an option I can hit hold down the control key and hit and select the mouse and it'll go straight to that section but let's say I want to edit the document now I'm going to go down here and I'll push push that section down to, to page three to make it a little cleaner now I can go back up now you notice the white Nile still on page two so I can um, highlight it I can go to uh, update table and then now you have a choice in here. You can either update the page numbers only or update the entire table. So I'm going to go ahead and say update entire table. And you'll notice what happened. The white Nile moved to three and adjusted everything else. So it's really handy. It's a good feature to have. Makes your documents nice and clean, especially anything of any size. This is a, a you know an easy way to navigate the document. So that's an example that I want to share with you. And also, so I have another example here. Well, what I did is I created a, you know, just a, um, a really simple document, but I've got intro to Word, and then I just have some, you know, this is a test, right, um, regular text under there. And then, um, so I have four sections here. And then what I did is when you do a table of contents, it looks for the headings. So I'm going to highlight right in front of Intro to Word and show you what I did here. So I went to um, Styles over here and you'll see there's the little um, arrow here at the right hand corner. I click that and now I went and I chose Heading 1 for that. Okay, Then I went here and I chose Heading 2 for that. And then I went here and I did Heading 2 and I think I made this one Heading 1. So you'll see what will happen here. I'm going to go ahead and create a, a table of contents here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to put my cursor right in front of the intro here, and I'm going to go to references, table of contents. This time I'm going to choose the one with the, the title and everything, and this is the default one anyway, so I'm going to say, I'm going to choose that one, and you see what happened, it put it in here, and it labeled it table of contents and you can see these are level one and this is level two okay so now again if I want to take this I want to move this down to page two 
so now it's on page two. Now I can go back here. Actually, if you click it too, you should get a, a pop-up um, menu here. But the other thing you can do is go to update table right here, and again, update entire table. And there you see what happened, formatting. I actually pushed it down two pages now. It's on page three. So that's what I want to share with you tonight. Um, there's several other items, you know, you can uh, experiment with it, but you can see if you go under table of contents, you can do lot, lots of different options there. And you can kind of play with what, what works and what doesn't work for you. Thanks for joining and please subscribe. Take care.